Chakra UI has finally got an update. Chakra UI has been updated to version 3 and it's a very welcome change because I literally thought that the library was dead but it's alive and the version 3 is announced and it has a ton of new features which I will discuss. So first thing is that it has basically adopted the shared CN workflow. So in shared CN you know that using the CLI you can install snippets and that basically adds the component code in your project and then basically you, if you want you can edit the code of that particular component and then use that via imports now chakra us components are like snippets as well if you want to use a particular component you will basically have to run the cli command to install that component for example if you want to use the accordion component you will have to run the chakra snippet add accordion command and that basically would add the accordion as a component in the project directory and then you will be able to basically import it from slash component slash ui so another thing which is added is semantic tokens. So for every color like red, green, blue, there are some variations of that color also added. So if you want to use a subtle version of red, if you want to use a solid version of red, you can do that by using red.subtle, red.solid, etc. And basically these colors would adapt to dark mode as well, which is great. You wouldn't have to think about the corresponding color for dark mode. Also, 25 new components have been added to Chakra UI. There are a lot of components which are present in Chakra UI, but there are some components like combo boxes, etc., which aren't present in Chakra UI still. And you know, maybe they will be added later. But basically, there was a need of more components in Chakra UI, and now they have added 25 new components. And some of them are very cool, like the file upload. So you can have a simple file upload as well. I can click on it, I can upload a file, and you can see the uploaded file name right here as a list item. Also, there is the drop zone available. So you can have a drop zone as well. You can basically drag a file and drop it here and that is part of this component. Similarly, a new segmented control component has been added, which can be used to pick a choice from a linear set of options. So here you have a bedrooms field, a beds field. You can select any choice you want and you see that the animation of the select is pretty cool. So the new components in Chakra UI are very clean. Previously in version two, if you wanted to use something like an accordion, you had to import like five different things from Chakra UI to implement the accordion. But now in version three, you can basically use namespace imports. So you can just import accordion and then basically use the corresponding children related components which are related to accordion using this syntax. So accordion.item, accordion.item content, etc. Also, Chakra UI had some sub packages like a Chakra icons package and it has some hooks as well. So it has removed all of that because the icons present in Chakra UI were very limited as well, as well as the hooks. So they have recommended to use other libraries for icons as well as hooks and stuff. Also, this shows that the library is not dead because they have presented a roadmap for future as well. So they will add color pickers and date pickers and other stuff as well in Chakra UI, which is cool. Also, due to some things they have done internally in the library, the library would be now faster. And you know, that is something we all want. So that is it for this video. If you are excited for this Chakra UI update and if you use Chakra UI, then do let me know down in the comments below. As you all know, I use Chakra UI in literally every tutorial or every freelance project I do. So I am actually very excited for this. If you like the video, make sure to comment and like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you want me to cover any topic, you can comment down below and I will make a video on that. That is it for the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.